Hi Cornerstone, great to have this opportunity to speak to you again. Uh, great weekend, there have been amazing reports of prayer walks, of guys doing outreach in Yeovil. Actually the, the outreach in Yeovil has continued for some weeks now and they were saying that there were over a hundred kids that they ministered to. Um, there are serious drug addicts that are getting born again and delivered from drugs. So it's just great to see the gospel go out in power. Um, I want to just talk to us on a couple of things and uh, encouragements more than anything else. Right at the beginning of lockdown, we talked about the importance of devotion. And I want to uh, continue to encourage us around that. You know, one thing we've realized is the lockdown is not temporary. It seems like, uh, you know, the four months that it's gone for already is going to continue. And the very engine room of our faith is our devotion. And Acts 2.42 is very clear about us devoting ourselves to the Word of God, devoting ourselves to prayer, devoting ourselves to breaking bread, and devoting ourselves to fellowship. Now, we have to make an effort to fellowship. So, I want to encourage you to get on the phone, um, even accidentally meet those you know at the supermarket. We need contact with each other. We need to see each other's faces to encourage each other. And then out of uh, our kind of series that we've been preaching on, um, two things have become very, very real to me. And that is the necessity for each of us to be involved uh, caring for others. I know um, to be in a place of being cared for in a local church, it's the sweet spot of God's grace. It's a wonderful place to be in. Uh, but there are many in our church still that don't have anybody caring for them. And I want to encourage you, get hold of your deacons, get hold of the elders, uh, and make it a, a, a kind of priority this week to phone somebody and say, I'd like to pray for you. To get hold of somebody, uh, you know, ask God to show you as well. Who can you get hold of to encourage them? Something happens when we make it about others. Too often our Christianity is centered around what we think is important, what we want. Uh, around me and mine, but let's look for somebody we can pray for to encourage. And then the last thing is, we've just handled Acts chapter 4, and we're going to go into a series on the gospel of the kingdom, and from it we are going to be challenged to see how the gospel transforms life, and how important it is uh, that we make ourselves available to preach the gospel, to share the gospel, to demonstrate the gospel, uh, in Acts chapter 4, they were threatened to shut down, and they didn't. They prayed and asked God for strategy, and then they continued to preach the word with boldness, and great results came about. So what um, I want to encourage us with is making ourselves available to God to share the gospel. You know, out there are many folk who are handling the pressures of no job or limited income, perhaps uh, had a family member die of the disease or some other tragedy or some other curveball that life has kind of thrown at them, but they aren't connected to community. They don't have people to care for them. And kind of in the loneliness of their homes, they've got to handle these challenges. And I feel that in a God-inspired way, He'll lead us to those guys and girls that we can pray for them, we can encourage them. Uh, and in our normal way of going about life, going to work and at the shopping centers, wherever it is, uh, we're available to him to share the gospel. So we want to be on the front foot when it comes to sharing the gospel. So I would encourage you to uh, kind of follow through with these things and um, see you on Sunday. Let me pray with us. Father, I thank you for how awesome you are and how good you are to us as a local church. The, the fact that we are still able to exist outside the context of all our normal meetings we trust you for the strategy going forward. We trust you for all those that are hurting, all those that are in a difficult place because of uh, this lockdown, that you administer grace and help to them and show us who these people are so that we can help them as well if they don't have folk around them. So thank you. You're the one who guides and leads us. You open up a future for us. We appreciate that, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great week.